A 40-year-old woman comes in with abdominal pain. Vital signs are stable. Exam shows that she is tender to palpation on the right upper quadrant and halts respiration. Scleral ectris is seen. Ultrasound shows a dilated common bile duct. Activating what would cause this patient's pain to worsen? A. K cell, B. Parietal cell, C. S cell, or D. I cell? I'll let you answer the question and then I'll explain in five seconds. Okay, so it's going to be D. I cell. So for this question, we have a patient with the classic presentation of biliary colic. And so it's typically going to be a woman in their 40s, and you can have these symptoms, and especially the on exam, you can see Murphy sign, which is where you have pain with inspiration while you're applying pressure to the right upper quadrant. So for this question specifically, eye cells are in the duodenum, and they release CCK, so cholecystokinin, and this hormone causes the gallbladder to contract, which would cause this patient's pain to be worse since biliary colic is when you have the gallstone move into the duct and then the gallbladder contract on the stone, which causes this pain, especially worse after eating fatty foods. So for the rest of the answer choices, we have the S cells and the duodenum, which release secretin, and that helps release bicarbonate. And so bicarbonate usually protects the duodenal mucosa from acid. So that's important to protect it normally since the acid from the stomach could damage that sensitive mucosa. And the other ones are going to be the parietal cell in the stomach. And so these just secrete acid and they're also the target of drugs to, uh, to help reduce acid secretion, especially for conditions like GERD. And then we have K cells that release glucose dependent insulinotropic peptide. And these just help release insulin. So for this question, realizing that this patient has biliary colic and knowing that cholecystokinin comes from ISIL and then cholecystokinin would cause this pain to be worse is how you would answer this question. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.